The Nigerian Senate has confirmed Loretta Onoche, special assistant to the president as chairman of the board of the Niger Delta Development Commission, NDDC. The confirmation of Onoche and 12 others as members of the NDDC board followed the presentation of a report by the vice chairman of the Senate Committee on NDDC, Senator Amos Bulus, on Tuesday in plenary. The committee wishes to recommend for confirmation the nomination of the following as chairman and members of the governing board of Niger Delta Development Commission, NDDC. Loretta Ifaim Onoche as chairman, governing board of NDDC. During the screening exercise, the committee observed that two of the presidential nominees were absent and there was no information from the special assistant to Mr. President on national assembly matters explaining their absence. The two presidential nominees that were absent and therefore not screened are one, Dr. Pais Ekperemwen Odudu, nominee to represent Edo State on the governing board of the Niger Delta Development Commission. Two, Engineer Anthony Akane, nominee to represent Imo State on the uh, governing board of the Niger Delta Development Commission. Accordingly, the committee stepped down the screening of the two nominees for reason of non-appearance before the committee. Before their confirmation, some senators objected to Onoche's confirmation, saying she's not from an oil-producing community, but Rivers East Senator George Sekibo said this issue is not clearly defined in the act establishing the NDDC. Submit that we should add a clause in our resolution calling on not only this president but all future presidents who will have to implement the act to comply in their nominations with the requirements of indigenship because what the law says is that the nominees should come from oil producing areas but that anyhow you interpret it it cannot go outside communities it cannot go outside a local government, and it should, in my view, not go outside the senatorial district. It should not be interpreted to mean the same thing as an oil producing state. And therefore, you go to an oil producing state and you nominate anybody from within that state. I disagree with that. So, Mr. President, this has been done. All right, thank you. Because the NDC Commission have been there for a very long time. We have tried to be sure that it was, you know, the, the nominees were sent to us, and we couldn't do much. Now, the president, in his own wisdom, when he's almost leaving office, he could have closed his eyes and then sent this thing to us. So whatever will form a bottleneck to the inauguration of the commission, I think we should leave it. Because the truth argument about host community and oil producing community have not been properly defined. It has not. Is it going to create more problem, even the, uh, the PIA? That problem will be there. People assume that oil producing areas is where you have flow station, where you have a sound pump. What of in the ground that, uh, that things are moving on horizontally? If they drill here, does not mean that. In a remark while performing the confirmation, President of the Senate, Ahmed Lawa, charged the newly confirmed board to hit the ground running by embarking on projects that will ensure peace and stability in the Niger Delta region. He also requested that copies of the audit reports be made available to the National Assembly. Confirmation. Will the Senate confirm the nomination of Loretta Ifani Onoche from Delta State representing South South as chairman in the Niger Delta Development Commission, NDDC? Those in favor say aye. Those against say nay, the ayes have it. The nomination of Loretta Ifani Onoche from Delta State representing South South is hereby confirmed as chairman in the Niger Delta Development Commission, NDDC. Time is of essence here. This um, confirmed chairman and, and members should hit the ground running. So much time has been lost. I believe that uh, order, order. from now until when their tenure will expire, 
they have a lot of work to do because NDDC itself, like we all know, is an interventionist uh, institution. I also want to urge the executive arm of government to send us the, the results of the forensic audit. Okay. Yes, let's, let's see what the forensic audit, because forensic audit of the NDDC has taken toll on the NDDC itself. Most of the time the argument was there shouldn't be the management in place until the forensic audit is over. Okay, now the forensic audit is over. We want to see what the outcome is. And the best place to, to bring it to is the National Assembly. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel. And don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.